Hey, kindergartners, I am back with another story. So go and get your book out, Rita and Ralph's Rotten Day. Have you ever been really mad at your best friend? Well, let's see what happens. Rita and Ralph's Rotten Day. In two little houses on two little hills lived two best friends. Every morning, Rita and Ralph would open their doors, step outside, close their doors, and run. Down the hill and up the hill, and down the hill and up the hill. They meet under the apple tree and high five, pinky shake, do a cha cha cha, play zombie tag, and make daisy chains. In one day, they played a new game, sticks and stones. Ow! Yeah, Rita. Uh-oh. Ralph froze. This was bad. Really bad. So they ran away. Down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill. And they opened their doors and raced inside and closed their doors. Rita was mad. And Ralph was sorry. So Ralph opened the door, stepped outside, and closed the door. It was a a hundred years to Rita's house. But she was his best friend. So Ralph went. Down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill. The long walk made Ralph a smidge grumpy. I'm sorry, he barked, but he didn't sound one bit sorry. So Rita did not open the door. Arr! said Ralph, and off he stomped. Down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill. He opened the door, stepped inside and closed the door. Now Ralph was mad and Rita was kind of sorry. So she opened the door stepped outside, closed the door, and ran. Down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill. As she ran, she thought about Ralph and that rock. Just thinking about it made her mad all over again. I want my pine cone back, she shouted. Ralph opened the door. 
and close the door. And Rita trumped. Down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill. She opened her door, marched inside, and slammed the door. Now Rita was mad, and Ralph was mad, and Rita was sad, and Ralph was sad. And in two little houses on two little hills, no one slept a wink. It had been a rotten day. Just when it seemed nothing would be right again, it was a new day. Rita and Ralph opened their doors, stepped outside, closed their doors, and went... Down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill. I'm sorry, said Rita. I'm sorrier, said Ralph. And they meant it. They did a high five and a pinky shake and a cha-cha-cha. And they played zombie tag and made daisy chains because best friends always find a way. To meet in the middle. Note from the author. Most of us have said and done things we regret. Nothing feels worse, however, than hurting a friend. Breaking things takes little effort. Mending them takes time, humility, and a heap of trips up and down the hills of reconciliation. This story, inspired by the classic hand game, Mr. Wiggle and Mr. Waggle may be read aloud with the accompanying hand gestures on this page. You may even want to add a few of your own. So, hopefully I'll get it right the first time. Two little houses on two little hills. They opened the door. They stepped outside. They closed the door and they went down the hill and up the hill and they met in the middle. How do you think that would be if we tried it faster? Okay, so two little houses on two little hills. They opened the door. Oh, I messed it up. Okay, let's start over. Two little houses on two little hills. They opened the door. They stepped outside. They closed the door. And they went down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill. And they met in the middle. I add a little extra ups and downs in there. But it's always fun when we can add something or go faster or go slow. Thank you for joining me for this story. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time.